lot of students and younger generation understand, you know, what technology is. But for us to formulate that, hey, you know you can get paid for the stuff that you enjoy doing in your spare time. It's like in sport, you know, some of the best tennis players will have the best sparring partner on the court because that pushes them harder. And that's basically what these competitions allow you to do. Everyone is super excited to be there. The challenge is, for want of a better phrase, a hacking competition for our talented undergraduate computer science students. What we aim to do is test their, both their technical and their communication skills to give them a sense of what it's like to work as a cybersecurity professional. In doing that, we're also trying to give them exposure to some of our most dynamic cybersecurity employers. I can tell you that the skills that are involved in completing and winning this challenge are very high value to employers. They're directly relevant. They're day one skills, in fact. We do things differently. We are not your garden typical variety consultancy. We break stuff. Security is basically the most important thing on the internet at the moment. These challenges are amazing. We use them to keep up to date ourselves, like internally, to keep you sharp. The challenge is a great opportunity to find people who have passion, who are curious thinkers and problem solvers, and, and that's what our industry looks for. I graduated from UNSW last year, and I did SciSCA for the last two years in a row. Cybersecurity attracts people because it's fun. And it's quite a rewarding career if you think about what you're doing. You're helping protect digital assets. Cybersecurity is attractive to me in that um, every day is different. I want to have something challenging in my life. It's such a growing field and it is in five, ten years probably going to be the most important thing on the internet is keeping ourselves safe.